all had those days, right? We stand there in the closet looking at all of our clothes and we have no idea what to wear, even if there's plenty of options. So today I wanna to provide some ideas and inspiration so that hopefully it can help you make better and faster decisions the next time you're standing there not knowing what to wear. Sound all right? Good, stay tuned. All right, welcome back to my channel. And as always, I'm glad that you're here. Really quick though, just for some context, my name is John and I'm the founder of 40overfashion.com. And I've been creating content since 2014 that's been helping men to look better, to feel better and to have more confidence. So if all that sounds good to you, please consider subscribing. And if you're interested in jumping on board my popular one-on-one -on -one four week coaching program to level up your wardrobe, there's a link down below in the description. Okay, just to clarify, the looks that I put together for this video are just general ideas and inspiration that can hopefully help you the next time you're trying to figure out what to wear. And yes, I do realize that every situation is different and every occasion calls for different clothing. So feel free to swap out shoes and jackets and even colors to suit your own climate and your own lifestyle. And with that, let's jump into it. All right, coming in first is the standard jeans and t-shirt look, right? So personally, I'm not really a t-shirt guy. I think if I'm gonna do something this casual, I'm just gonna put on a polo shirt. So an alternative to this might be the next look, which is going with just a nicer t-shirt, right? Black t-shirt, it's got some white detail on it. I think that looks pretty nice. Oh, and by the way, the sneakers are from Greats, the t-shirt is from uh, Express, and the jeans are from American Eagle. So the next look, same basic idea, but I'm going with black sneakers, again from Greats, and I think that matches the t-shirt a lot better. And I think the outfit still looks super casual, but also kind of nice at the same time. Coming up next though, if you want to change things up a little bit and stand out, put on a different color pair of shoes. So obviously these are red sneakers. These are from Lacoste. Might not be the best choice for this particular outfit, but the next one coming in look number five with the white short sleeve button down. I think that looks great. Like I don't have a problem with the red sneakers for this outfit. I think it's nice in springtime, nice and summery. Looks really, really nice. And if it gets kind of cool, you can throw on a cardigan sweater. This has got to be my favorite cardigan sweater right now. This is a nice thick cable knit uh, shawl collar from John Henrik. I really like that sweater. I think it goes with a lot of different outfits and you're gonna actually see it again coming up. All right, so moving on to look number seven. So this is kind of a monochromatic look. So, all right, we're gonna talk about some monochrome like this and also some high contrast looks. So this is basically blue on blue, right? Button down shirt, button down collar. I've got it tucked in. I've got the sneakers on. Uh, the shirt I believe is custom from Taylor Store. And again, I'm going with the uh, black sneakers from Greats. The next outfit is basically the same thing. I went with a darker wash pair of denim from American Eagle. I threw on some suede gray Chelsea boots from Thursday Boot. And I've got this black and white gingham button down shirt from a Teddy Stratford. This is one of those cool zip shirts. They're really, really cool. They fit nice. I think this is really nice. You could pretty much do anything with this outfit during the day. And I changed it up just slightly and I threw on this sort of light sand, light brown pair of chucka boots. However, I didn't change my belt. I apologize for that. I was changing outfits like 19 times in a very short amount of time and I was just trying to get through all the different outfits, but you get the general idea. Okay, and who says your jeans have to be blue? So these are uh, gray denim, stretch denim from Express. Again, I've got the, the same gray Chelsea boots on and I've got this really nice casual, kind of a bold pattern shirt from Express. I do wear that shirt quite a bit. I'm sure you've seen that in a bunch of other videos. And I think that color shirt with the gray pants and the, the dark gray boots actually look really nice together. And again, my friends, look number 11, I went with that cardigan sweater again. I've been getting a lot of use out of that cardigan sweater from John Henrik. It's one of my favorite all-time pieces right now. All right, moving on. So same everything, except I threw on that dark navy button-down shirt, got it tucked in. This is a great look. I think this is great for like a evening out, or I, I guess obviously it depends on where you're going. But I mean, if you're gonna run around town or do some activities or you're kind of a dinner out, I don't have any problem running with something like this. Okay, now who said you can't wear polos on polos? <laughs> I'm sure there's gonna be some of you that will leave me comments saying that you can't do this. But look, 
what I've got going on here is a white polo shirt underneath a blue long sleeve polo from John Henrik. I've got the gray denim on, I've got the black sneakers on, and I really, I don't have a problem with this. I think it looks great, but please leave me some comments. Let me know if you like this or don't like this. I'm really curious to know what you guys think. I'm okay with it. All right, moving on. So we're going with some chinos. I've got lots of different colors of chinos, but I went with brown for this video. And I've got these cool boots from YRX Boots. I just made a video about them not too long ago. I think they're really different and kind of cool. And I think with the right outfit, they can look really nice. I do like this combination. And I've got a standard white t-shirt on and I've got this black quarter zip pullover from Mizzen and Main. Oh, and by the way, the chinos are from Express. So same exact outfit coming up here for number 15, except I went with those dark gray suede Chelsea boots again. I've got the same chinos on, the same white t-shirt, but I went with this uh, maroon full zip sweater again from John Henrik. I have a lot of John Henrik stuff. I really, really like wearing those items. And I think this outfit really looks terrific. And next we're going bold. So look, if you wanna do something bold and different, this is definitely something that you can try. I wore the same outfit out last weekend and had a great day out. So look, I've got this brown and white striped shirt from the tie bar. I've got the white denim from H&M that I bought probably two or three years ago. And I got these brand new, they're almost yellow, but it's a really light brown loafer from Aldo. The Aldo store here at my local mall is closing. I got these shoes for like 30 bucks and I think they're terrific. So if you wanna do something a little bit different and add more contrast, I've got this dark blue field jacket, again from John Henrik, that I can wear over the top of this, just in case the weather gets a little bit chilly. All right, these last two looks are sort of a, a business casual, if you will. So starting at the ground and working our way up, I've got these blue leather loafers from Paul Evans. I've got these really beautiful pattern dress pants that I got a couple years ago from Top Man white polo shirt underneath this quarter zip blue pullover from Mizzen and Maine. It's kind of a golf slash business casual. I think it looks really, really cool. Following this up with the very last look of the day, and yes, I know I'm gonna get some comments that I don't have socks on. Like I said, I was changing clothes a lot in a very short amount of time, and I didn't wanna keep changing socks, forgive me. So I've got the same loafers. I've got these blue pattern dress pants from uh, the tie bar same white polo shirt and the same blue quarter zip pullover from Mizzen and Maine. Gentlemen, this is where I'm gonna jump off. I do hope you enjoyed this one. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please do that right now because I'm here twice a week. Guys, take care and I'll see you again.